Welcome into Rock Painting 101. Today I am playing around with a technique that you can see online. People are doing this to all sorts of things called hydro dipping. So we are hydro dipping rocks and I've been playing around with it for a little bit and I think I've got it down um, pretty well. I'll show off some of my trials and errors after you watch me do a few of these stones. I've got kind of a different angle here. I want to make sure you can see without me creating too many shadows because I am outside. Now I'm set up in an old baby pool. Um, you will want a glove to cover your hands. Uh, I also have over off to the side a big giant wooden chopstick. Um, you can use a, a skewer or a popsicle stick, craft stick. I also have spray paint in different colors and combinations. Um, and then you're gonna want to have base coated stones, white base coated stones. I'll show you the difference in a little bit of um, why that's important. So what we're gonna do is you just start by spraying spray paint, just a couple different colors. Now in some of these videos online, you'll see them using a lot of paint. For stones, you don't need very much because we're working on a small surface. So this is just room temperature water. You want your container, something that can be thrown away when you're done or reused for this process over and over again. So we're just gonna spray right on the surface of the water, our first color. And then we're gonna go right into that with our second color, just a little squirt. And you can do the first color again, but you're just looking for a really cute or an interesting design. So like right there looks really neat. So I'm gonna take my stone. Now my gloves are a little big, so I like to roll my fingers so that I get that extra glove out of the way. Pinch your rock tight and press straight into the design you want, right where you think it's the neatest spot of the rock. Go past so the whole rock is submerged Give it a little swirl because you want these edges to kind of break and stick to your glove and not necessarily the rock. And then turn up and out. And you'll see I have some paint on my fingers, but if you pull it down and away, it will stick onto the rock. And it dries right there on the surface. How cool is that? So we'll put that off to the side to dry here and we'll do a couple more. See how much paint sticks to your gloves. So that's why you definitely want gloves now you can go right back into this again. Oh, I got a little bit of a breeze. Hold on a second. Don't spray when there's a breeze coming back at you. All right, so let's do another stone here. We're gonna go teal, pink. And we'll look for a design. We can always hit it back with the other color to kind of give it a Good marbling effect. You can kind of play with blowing around in there a little bit. Then we take our stone straight into some place we think looks interesting. And I don't love this right now. So we're gonna try to kind of, let's add one more little, see if we can get something we like a little better. All right, there we go. I love that right there. So straight in swirl 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 so you come out and it's done so it's a definitely a different and interesting technique um, it takes some playing around with but for the most part I love how all these stones are turning out so you can't really try to predict what's gonna happen with it all too much it's just something fun if you have some extra spray paint in your garage or you want to pick out one or two colors to just go for, um, you can make these really interesting base coats for your kindness rocks. So I'm going to take you down and let you see kind of all the different ones we have here. And I'll show you a couple of flaws. All right, so here's a couple of the stones we just finished. Sorry, there's some shadows going on here. This is what it looks like without a base coat so it still goes on and it looks cool but I just think look at these are the exact same color combinations look how much brighter and vivid this is without a base coat now occasionally you'll have one that maybe you get stuck to your glove like that's what happened there so like I said there is some trial and error to this some paints react weird like this one this yellow got really weird on me um, but overall, I mean, you're only using a couple sprays of paint. Look at these ones over here. And they really look cool. And all you have to do is add a simple 
little phrase or saying to them and you're good to go. So you can sit outside and kind of play around, something different to try. So I will add kindness words to these and show them here right now. So you can see them all finished. I hope you enjoyed this fun, different tutorial. Make sure you're subscribed and we'll be back soon with something um, else for beginners. Bye-bye.